Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So, Christmas is coming. Are you ready? Today, I'll show you how to sublimate on the sequin Christmas stockings available in my online shop now. I'll have everything you need in the description box below. If you find the video helpful, you learn something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to begin our tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start off in Canva. So we're going to go up here to create a design, custom size, and I'm using 11 by 17 um, Koala sublimation paper. But whatever size paper you use, you're going to go ahead and input those dimensions in there. So I'm using 11 by 17 paper, but really 13 by 19 paper will probably give you the best and easiest results for this project. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead to my uploads and insert the images that I want to work with today. Okay, so here are the two images from my uploads that I'm going to be using today. This picture, and then I have this picture, which is a scanned in copy of um, the sequin Christmas stockings that I carry in my store. So the first thing we're going to do with this, and when you purchase the sequin stockings, this will be available as a free download, okay? Now, this is the template that I'm using. I have no idea how to create templates. This is my first time, but uh, Christmas stockings are like really like odd shaped and kind of hard to work with. So I just wanted to try and help you guys out with the design process, okay? So don't talk about me and joke my template, okay? I'm just trying to help y'all out. So, okay, so when you download your template, the first thing you're going to do, and if you're working with 11 by 17 paper, you're going to go ahead and set it as the image background. And then we also want to flip it, okay? Flip it horizontal because we want our toe to the right. Believe me when I say that. Make sure your toe is to the right, okay? And then we're just going to go ahead with our designing. I'm going to take my girl and just shrink her down a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead to photos and uh, search for Christmas background. This is actually the one that I'm going to be using, but it was under Christmas. You click Christmas and then Christmas backgrounds will pop up and you click that. Oh, they have Christmas lights. Let me, let me see what's under that tab. So, yeah, so then you get all of these. Oh, okay, I like that. Let me delete this one. This is really just want what I want, like like the little blurry light, light effect. I like that. So yeah, also keep in mind that I am using Canva Pro. So some of these images that you see up here that are free for me may not be free for you if you're not using Canva Pro. So I'm just going to stretch that out. Actually, I think I want like a snowy background. Yeah, so I'm just going to stretch that out. We don't want to replace it as the background of the image because we still do need to see our Christmas stocking. Because like, right, because what we're going to do is once you get your background, you're just going to take the transparency down a little bit so that you can still see your Christmas stocking and uh, go ahead with your designing. So I'm just going to go over to elements now and grab some clip art um, to just, you know, add to this image. Okay, so once we have everything designed how we want, let's just uh, bring this transparency back up. Let's move it to the back. Okay, there we go. 
So once we have everything designed how we want, we're just going to go ahead and make sure everything is flipped. Okay, I'm not going to flip mine right here in the tutorial because I, my printer does it for me. So just make sure you uh, flip your image. And then once you do that, we're going to go over here to download. Make sure you save the file type as a PNG. Save it to your computer. Make sure it's tabloid premium presentation map and go ahead and print. Once we have everything printed out, we're just going to take our stocking and make sure all the sequins are flipped to the white side. And the Cricut weeding tool really comes in handy at this point because there's always a few stubborn sequins. <music> Okay, once we get all our sequins to the white side, we're just going to go ahead and tape our image to our Christmas stocking. Once it's taped down, we'll go ahead and move over to the heat press and we'll press our stocking at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And if you have a small 15 by 15 heat press like me, you'll have to press in two sections. Once everything is pressed, we'll go ahead and do the big reveal. And oh my goodness, y'all, look at that. That is so pretty, okay? It looks nice on camera, but it really, really, really looks so pretty in person. So that is how you press the sequin Christmas stockings that I have in my shop available now. Go ahead and click out the video and go to jstewartslaboratory.com and grab you some. And you can easily take this up a notch and personalize it even further by adding some HTV to the um, fur part. Or I believe you can sublimate on top the fur as well. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.